YouTube, man, we back at it with another video here at Clean Culture Orlando. We are completely sold out as always, but listen, we're gonna do a crazy, a little different video. I know usually I do my top five, but now we're gonna, we got a couple influencers here as always, but we're gonna spice it up. Man, we got we got the man right here. Come on, don't be shy. Oh, don't shit. be shy. Shout, shout, shout yourself out. What's good? Tay Wavy on YouTube, man. You know, I'm trying it. to be like this guy. Nah. One day, one we're day. trying to be like him on YouTube, so you better like, comment, and subscribe. But yo, yo, we got him, we got Rice Miata, aka Chris Runnick, and we got uh, Divine Media. Uh, so we got three powerhouses here. They're all going to go around and pick their top five cars of the event. So I'm curious to yo. see what they're rocking with. And um, let me know what y'all think about what they rocking with. So, and you know, we're gonna we're gonna cut back. You, you got an hour, so go an hour. Go I gotta do like two or three laps. Yeah, go go see what you it's like. A lot of cars. And here. we're gonna tap you in in a little bit. Stay posted. Hi, hey, me again. Third influencer, Mike Divine Media. He's gonna go around and pick his top five also. So, I'm just curious to see what he likes. And that's it. You're gonna see him and see what he likes. Let me know what you think in the comments of his decisions. Um, it's gonna be a lot of stance or what? It's gonna be a tough one. Cause I, I've like evolved from stands, so but I yeah. know there's a good variety of stuff here. Yeah, so no, nah, there's some shit. Don't sleep outside either. So yeah. that's I mean. I'm curious to see what he's gonna say, what Dante's gonna say, and what Ronick's gonna say. So stay tuned for that. We're gonna see what they uh, they got. Y'all got 30 minutes, so. 30 minutes. Five o'clock. Boom. What is going on, guys? If you don't know me, my name is Chris Rednick. I have a YouTube channel called The Rice and Miata. You can see we got my um, LS3 E36 out here. Um, Nick actually towed it out here for me because I was kind of too pussy to drive it here because, you know, it's got a little bit of exhaust. It kind of burns your eyes. Wasn't really about that. So we got that here. I just got this nice E46 M, or I almost called it an M3. It's too much sangria, but I just got this E46 wagon. Honestly, sick daily, dude. Nick was nice enough to let me park it inside. It probably doesn't belong here because there's a little bit of rust on it, but Nick asked me to make this video for him. He wanted me to pick five cars to take home, but to be honest, if I, if I had the opportunity, I'd probably just take any car for free. You know what I mean? So I did my own categories. We got one, um, my favorite electric car. We got two, most ignorant car of the show. No disrespect, we'll talk about that in a second. Um, my favorite van, what else we got? The car that I would actually take home, I'm trying to remember all the cars that I got. Oh, and my favorite Miata as well. So we're gonna go look at the fa my favorite electric car. Let's hit it. All right, so this is my favorite electric car right here. I'm a big fan of Teslas, all right? I, I don't own one right now, but in my life, I'd love to at least own one. So instant torque. I love how silent they are. I grew up on brushless RC cars. Just something about that instant torque in the, sil the silence of the engines or of the motors, I should say, is just super sick. This one's bagged on some cool wheels. You can tell that he really took his time with all of the management and stuff. And I just love that it's black, it's sleek, and it just looks good. Honestly, if this wasn't in the electric car um, group, I would probably be taking this one home today because then I, I'd have my dream Tesla, you know what I mean? Is this self-driving? Yo, is this self-driving? Yeah, see, that's why I want one. It, it, Let's be honest, at the end of the day, we're all fucking lazy, right? Imagine having a car drive for yourself. Elon, if you're watching this, I'll advertise these fuckers for you. I got you, bro. All right, next one's over here. All right, so for the car I would actually take home, it would be this nice black E46 M3. It's on BBS wheels. The thing just looks super tough. It's got really beefy tires. Thing looks like it's ready to attack the streets. The only thing that I hate about it, and no disrespect to the owner, it's on bags. I would love for this thing to be static just because it's just one of those cars that you just want to really get into the gears and stuff. And me personally, I, I guess I haven't really driven too many bag cars, but like, I feel like on coilovers, you can just shred the gnar just a little more. But now let's go look at the ignorant car. No, once again, no disrespect to the guy because I give him hell credit for actually driving this thing here. It's fucking ignorant. All right, guys, right here is the most ignorant car of the day. And I don't mean that in any disrespectful way. Once again, I give this guy credit for fucking driving this thing here. Come check this out. Look at the camber on this thing. There is no tread on the ground whatsoever. Come here, we have to zoom in on this. I'm serious. If you come down here, tell me, cameraman, is there any is there any tread on yeah. the ground? So every 200 miles, they're either rotating or they're popping. So today, this is the most ignorant car, but this dude is a G for driving this thing here because this is absolutely fucking terrifying, but I love him for it. So he gets my points. All right, so for the people that don't know this, 
Dude, I love vans. Like, I wanted my first car to be a Honda Odyssey, but my mom was like, Chris, you don't need a fucking van. Like, what are you gonna do? Like, when you're 16 in the state of Connecticut, that's where I was living or currently living, um, you're not allowed to drive with passengers for like over a year or something. So she's like, Chris, you're not getting a van. Like, you're not allowed to drive with people, whatever. But I love Honda Odysseys. This is my favorite van of the day. My dream is to live in a van, dude. Fuck a house, fuck an apartment. I just want to travel America, live in a van, and live life. You know what I mean? So shout out to this dude. I mean, it's not like a livable van, but it's a Honda Odyssey, and I like it. So here it is. All right, guys. So last but certainly not least, it's a Miata. My name is Rice Miata on YouTube. Low key, kind of hate the name, but I made it when I was like 15 or 16. We're changing it soon. Don't worry about it. But this is actually my buddy Rick's. He's got a Mazda Speed um, Miata Fastback. Dude's had it for like 10 or 11 years. He's done so many different transformations with this car. And I just wanted you guys to actually see it and I wanted to show it off. Dude has a trailer behind his Miata to actually store his crazy car. And he literally paint matches everything. I'm pretty sure this is Millennium Jade, but it just looks so good with the, the crazy car. He recently just added the scooter. I saw him like last month. He didn't have that scooter there, but dude is just, He's got style and we had to show it off. This is my favorite Miata of the day. Dude's killing the game. All right guys, so I hope you enjoyed that. I'm gonna actually hand the mic off to T-Wavy, see what he has to say. Um, balls in your court, brother. Let's hit it. All right, man, y'all. Tay coming at you live right here at the Clean Culture 2023. Yo, it's so much fire out here. I couldn't even choose a top five for real. I got, we got, hold on. Should we go to the first one right here? Bruh, let me show y'all. This charger, when I tell you this charger has to be the hardest in the game right now. Bro, like look at the fire. It's so clean, bro. It's so clean to the three-piece wheels, to the top. Yo, you're on here too. You're on, you're in my top five. No, no cap, you're in my top five. Yeah, bro. We gotta go over to your car too. But yo, this charger is so sick. The three-piece wheels, the wide body, it looks amazing, bro. Like. I can't even, it's, it's like a perfect car. Me personally, I was gonna get a wide body charger, but I went with a Tesla instead. But this right here is just perfect, bro. This right here, it has to be in my top five. Bro, this Lexus is so mint. When I tell you like, when I tell you like, it's so clean, like everything, everything. The three piece wheels, you know, not a lot of people do the camber and the big tilt on Lexus, but like, it just looks so perfect to me. Then he has the underglow. The underglow is fire to the brake calibers, the brake calibers being yellow. It just all goes so well. It all flows so well. And yeah, I think he definitely deserves number two for a fact. This, I would say, is in the top five, but I don't know if it's my number three with the M4, the convertible M4 hardtop. It's so fire, bro. Everything is just so clean. And he is static. He's indeed static. He went from bags um, and he was literally the same ride height bag. And now he's static at the same exact ride height and he drives it. It's such a good daily and I've driven it myself and it's just an amazing car all around. So coming in at number four, like I said, my list at this point is just everywhere. My boy with this Lexus JDM Poppy is so freaking clean and it is a very reliable car. From my knowledge, I think he drives it like almost every day. Yeah, to the wheels, to the color, everything is just mint. And one thing about me is I love the function of the car. Like I love, a car that's able to function and daily drive. Um, his car is just so perfect. It's not too low. It's not too low, but you feel me? It's just at the perfect ride height. This Genesis is so fire. Like the detail from the wheels to the exhaust, to the hood, to everything is probably the one of the best cars in here. Like I said, my list is all over the place, but this car, this Genesis has gotta be either number one or number two, but like I said, I saved the best for last and just the detail all across this car is just amazing, bro. What's up everyone? My name is Mike, otherwise known as Divine Media. And today we're gonna check out my top five favorite cars in the show here at Clean Culture. So the first car I had to pick out of the top five for me would be the two rotor swap S13. Uh, it's actually a good friend of mine, Artem. And uh, the detail work in this car is absolutely insane. From the engine bay to the fuel system, to the interior, the cage work, Everything on this car is phenomenal and it had to be the first thing I had to mention. The second car 
from my this and not mine. This, one. this thing is crazy. I love the kit on it. It's just a wild setup. And uh, he did this car right. It's super cool. So the third car out of my five for this list would have to be this Genesis. The detail work in this car. The detail work in this car is out of this world from Entire trunk setup, audio system, custom paint job, custom carbon fiber, custom interior, engraved wheels. Like, there's no stops on this car. Crazy. So car number four on my list out of five would be this black RCF. Just the black and chrome is just my favorite setup, and he absolutely knocked this out of the park. From the kit to the wheels to the brakes to the underglow interior, everything, it's sick. Top five would be the 400 here. Uh, from the paint, to the wheels, to the kit, to the interior. Again, a car that just pulled out all the stops. Super cool. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. Listen, thank you for the another uh, another banger here in Orlando. We're gonna wrap up this top five um, influencer vlog. So we're gonna do these every event we go to. We're gonna pick a couple of influencers to see what they're liking, see what they think is popping, see what they think is a little. Eh. So. <laughs> so we're gonna run that back um every event top five i know we so it's gonna be lit man I'm, I'm curious to see i didn't even know what they picked so i'm gonna watch this as you guys are watching this so i'm curious to see what they picked um and i'm curious to to see like what they not you know what they're not fucking with so um shouts out to rudnick shouts out to dante and shouts out to divine mike media so um love y'all if you enjoyed this video please comment let us know it's good uh stay tuned uh i know all three of them are gonna have podcasts coming soon so stay on the go with that but further ado thank you we'll wrap it up here in orlando florida i'm tired i'm spittering my words i'm exhausted it's been a long day we love y'all man cc out <laughs>